long is the surgery? Laparoscopically, of course. So if it's not perforated, it's usually under 30 minutes. Oh, so it's pretty quick. If it is perforated, uh, it may be under 40 minutes. All right. In average. And the recovery, of course, uh, which we just mentioned right now, Jennifer, the recovery between like having open surgery and uh, laparoscopic, much different. Can you compare Very the different. two? I Very remember different. the recovery. Oh. Very different. And I, I compare it to my, um, uh, my, oh gosh, I'm having a moment here when I had my children. Help Your C-section. My C-section, thank you so much. <laughs> uh, that's happening with my age too, I'm forgetting things. But I, I remember the pain of recovery. It was quite painful. So talk about the differences. Sure. Laparoscopic, the kids, and remember, kids generally do much better than adults typically. Um, they come out of surgery for the most part, they do very well. Um, it's a fairly short recovery. Usually after, um, after surgery, we're really only giving Tylenol or Motrin. Um, they get up fairly quickly, they eat fairly quickly. Of course, there's always cases where they don't do as well and they're a little bit slower and mm -hmm. they need a little extra time. But for the most part, laparoscopically, they do very well very soon. And doctor, do you keep them overnight or is this outpatient? Well, it, with a laparoscopic approach, because they're a smaller incision and there's less pain and we put local anesthesia, we do blocks in the abdomen to try to uh, minimize the amount of pain after the surgery. If, if you do a patient first thing in the morning, it's, you know, it's conceivable you could send that patient home later that night. But uh, typically, it depends when the patient arrives. If, if they're being done in the afternoon, they usually set, stay till the next day. How many of these do you do? I'm wondering how common right. uh, we didn't have any stats on right. uh, you know, appendix and these operations. Well, at Baptist Hospital, Baptist Children's Hospital, we do about one a day. So we do about uh, between 300 and 350 a year. Would you guess a percentage of kids that will experience this? I think it's about uh, lifetime. It's about 5%. Oh, it's your 5%. lifetime risk. It's getting, quite rare. Yeah. And again, no real reason why it occurs, nothing to do right. with heredity, nothing no. to do with just... Well, I mean, if you eat seeds or if you eat certain foods that can block your, your appendix, it puts you at risk. But most, most patients uh, do not have any of those risk factors. They only have inflammation that causes the, uh, the obstruction of the, of the appendix. Mm -hmm.